This is going to be a short video about libraries or packages in the world of R. Now, in fact, I've asked you all, and you all, I believe, have installed a package in R already. I encourage you to go to the right-hand side of your screen, this Packages tab, and then click Install, and you type in the name R Markdown. Now, some of you have already probably installed the package T-I-D-Y-V-E-R-S-E, Tidyverse. But if you haven't, I would like you to follow along and install Tidyverse, the package, right now. Now, for some of you, this is going to take a minute. So I'm just going to go ahead and ask that you do that on your own time. Thankfully for me, because I had it already installed, it didn't take very long to install at all. So it turns out these packages are like extra features that R has been has available. Now it turns uh, it happens that the world of R is all open source. That's what's made this free, right? And because it's free, people feel uh, excited, willing, happy to contribute these add-on features. So in the world of R, there's the core language that we've been kind of exploring a little bit slowly already. And then there's all these add-on features that come in packages. And those are really contributed by the community of R. So users of R are excited, happy, willing to write these packages such that people can do more sophisticated things in R. And for instance, this whole world of R Markdown that we've already been exploring is in fact brought to us by a package. That's what you guys installed already uh, in week one when I asked you to install the package R Markdown. This second package, Tidyverse, is actually kind of a meta package that includes a bunch of smaller packages that are really of interest to us. And so for instance, in week three here, we are going to work our way into plots. And we're going to be using the library ggplot2. Let me write that out for us. And I'll do it in a code chunk. Library ggplot2. Now, anytime we want to use the library, the package ggplot2, we have to write code like this. And what's actually going on is library is the name of the function. And inside the parentheses goes the argument to the function, and the argument is the name of the package you want to load. The way you should think about this line of code is like you want to go down to the library and get some extra resources for yourself. You're specifically going to get the extra resources, ggplot2, from the library. And once you run this line of code, look, on a Mac, which I'm currently on, I can hit Command Enter, and it'll run that line of code. If you're on a Windows machine, you should be able to hit Control Enter on that line of code. Alternatively, you can hit this green right facing uh, triangle and it says run current chunk. That will do just the same for us. And with that, you can then use the function ggplot. This is the world we're going to start exploring. Now I'm going to show you some tips and tricks surrounding calling library on ggplot2, but I need an example to get us going first. So I'm just going to build out uh, what this function ggplot looks like, even though we will dive more deeply into using that function itself in some videos to come later on this week. So here we go. I'm just going to make a plot using the data set cars, and then comes a bunch of other weird looking stuff, though you can kind of recognize that the variable speed and the variable dist are showing up here. And if you're adventurous enough, you can think of this plot creating x and y axes. And I'm going to put speed on the x axis and dist on the y axis. And then I'm going to add some points to that plot. And look, I'm going to do this trick again. I'm going to run the current chunk right here. And from that, we get a seemingly reasonable, it's actually, in fact, a scatter plot. So you know what we should do inside week three is create a subsection for scatter, scatter plots specifically. And somewhere in here, you should have a definition of scatter plot. But I'm going to do that later because that's not the video right now. So here is 
what it's like to use the library ggplot2. I strongly encourage you, though, way up at the top of your notes, create a code chunk that is devoted to loading the packages you want. Don't try to load individual packages in each new section of this document. Have one code chunk all the way at the top of your document that loads everything. Now, let me show you right next to, right next to this run the current chunk button is this button. In order for you to run this line of code, you need to first load the library or the package ggplot2. But you'll notice it's not in the current chunk that you want to run. So right next to the run the current chunk is another button that says run all chunks above. And if you click that, it will literally run starting from the top this code chunk. I don't know what happened up here, but I'll ignore it for now. It'll run this code chunk, the one you want to go to the library, fetch the resources of the package ggplot2, and enable it so that you can use it. It'll run this code chunk, even if you weren't interested in that one, who cares? And it'll enable this function to then work for you. So if at any time you're within some subsection of your course notes, and the function ggplot is not working for you because it gives you some red error message like, we can't find the function ggplot. You've probably forgotten to load the library or the package ggplot2. So you should first click this one, run all the code chunks up, and then run your current code chunk. And I bet everything's going to work for you. So these are my two tips for you at the end of this presentation. Have one. Uh, code chunk at the top of your course notes that loads all the libraries we're going to use throughout um, this course. Every time we use a new library, just add it to this code chunk section up top. And then remember the benefits of these two buttons here. Run the current chunk and run all code chunks above. So hopefully by the end of this video, you've gotten a reasonable understanding of what our packages are and what these two buttons do, and where to put all of your uh, library calls to load extra packages.